Hi, I'm Sasha and I'm a primate keeper here at Taronga Western Plains Zoo. Last year in September, we welcomed eight new additions to our ringtail lemur breeding group. All of the babies are doing really well and have reached all of their growth milestones. The mums remain very patient with them and thankfully they're starting to wean a little bit now. They eat a lot of solid food. They spend lots of time wrestling with each other, exploring the exhibit. They only really come back to mum if they get spooked by something, but they all still like to sleep together in a nice big ball. The addition of our eight offspring brings our breeding troop numbers up to 17 lemurs. They look amazing out in their exhibit and the youngsters, while still smaller than the adults, are growing quickly. They are very active throughout most of the day when they're not napping. We do actually have two ringtail lemur exhibits here at our zoo. We have our bachelor groups who live next to the main cafe and then the breeding group with the youngsters can be found right next to the hippo and eland exhibits. All lemurs are endemic to the island of Madagascar off the east coast of Africa. There are approximately 103 different species of lemur and they vary enormously in size, appearance and habits. All of them are considered to be either endangered or critically endangered, which is why breeding programs like the one at Taronga Western Plain Zoo are vital for their survival. The next milestones that we expect to see from these youngsters will be them becoming fully weaned um, just in the next few months and also the troop has already entered um, the breeding season for this year and if we have females fall successfully pregnant that will give amazing opportunities for our youngsters from last year to witness mothering so that they themselves will go on to be excellent parents one day. Lemurs are a matriarchal species, which means that the females in the troop are the ones that make all of the decisions. Even the highest ranked males in this group are still lower ranked than even the lowest ranked female, which is really interesting to see. Ringtailed lemurs can live in troops of up to about 30 individuals out in the wild if they have enough space and enough food, but many other lemur species live in much smaller groups than that, usually just a single family next door to maybe another family. The female youngsters will stay with the maternal group and in the next two or so years the male offspring that we had born will be moved out into our bachelor group who can be found on the savannah lake in the zoo.